Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I am going to be doing a full face of NYX Cosmetics. So just a quick disclaimer, a lot of these products have been gifted to me by NYX. I mentioned a lot of the times in my video that I am part of one of their social media app things like people who like do reviews for them but I'm under no obligation to actually like do this video. I'm doing this off my own back and I'm not getting paid and I haven't been paid from them in any way so I thought I would just mention that so yeah I actually have pretty much apart from one thing by NYX which I don't have which is a highlighter I'll be using obviously a different version everything else is NYX and I haven't done one of these like ever because I've never had enough products to kind of accumulate as a full face so let's get in with the primer I have three different primers and I know which one I'm going to use but I thought I would show you them anyway so I've got the plump right back which is really really nice it's a really nice kind of like a long lasting primer that you can even use by itself I've even got the bright maker which is the one I'm going to use today so this is a really nice kind of smells like papaya it's so nice and it's also got like a bit of a glow to it you'll see and then also the marshmallow primer which went viral apparently I mean I have a TikTok I go on TikTok like every day but I never see like makeup that is crazy trending but this is really nice like this is it smells really nice and it really helps with the makeup so I am gonna go on with the brighter bright maker um, and it's actually been a while since I've used this so that's why I kind of wanted to use it um, but NYX has been a brand that I've tried for many many years like I remember picking them up um, I think just as they came to Superdrug and then they came well, I think they came to Boots first then they've more recently come to Superdrug so I do feel like they are kind of in the middle ground they're not like high-end but they're not also what you would deem like crazy like high street affordable if you know what i mean because these primers tend to be around like 13 14 pounds by themselves and for a primer like that i mean you do get a nice amount of size i do feel personally that it's a tad expensive but a lot of the things that i have purchased in the past i have really liked like i purchased quite a few of their lip products and the foundation that i'm going to show you in a moment um so yeah not everything that i'm using today has been like given to me but um yeah I just thought I would do this video so when it comes to foundation I've got the born to glow which is one of my favorite foundations of all time I absolutely love this and then also the can't stop won't stop these are both in the shade vanilla so they obviously that is <laughs> pretty much my shade I'm gonna use my born to glow today because I haven't used it in a while um, and it's almost finished so I kind of feel like once I do use it up I will buy another one I never really do that with foundations because mainly um, I never really finish foundations just because um, there's just obviously a lot in like one like one packet um, and so let me see how much I can get out of this about bringing out too much because I think the last time that I used this I put out way too much and I wasted a bit of my products and I was like okay that's fine but I mean I've had this for quite a while and I just love the way that this works on my skin so I'm just using one of my spectrum uh, brush um, brushes sponges um, to give me a nice even coat and this is kind of a very buildable um, to full coverage foundation. I do really love the Can't Stop Won't Stop one as well but I feel like this one is my OG so this is the one that I purchased like one of my first purchases from NYX and you know what I said at the time it was like okay it's £10 that's like crazy expensive for a foundation but the fact that it's lasted me so long but the fact that I still use it quite a lot because I always go back to it for example if I'm going out or if I'm doing a video where I I'm not reviewing like a new foundation this is one of the foundations that I go to to actually kind of just use to be honest yeah so this one is I, I believe it's still 10 pounds and then the constant won't stop one I think is around maybe 14 15 pounds you get a lot more in there and I have used it quite a lot especially on my channel as well um, but I still feel like the Born to Glow is like just one of my favorites. Like my skin has obviously been doing so much better recently than when I first purchased this. But 
this gives me a really really nice coverage I've got obviously this little spot here that's like lingering so I'm gonna use my concealer to obviously kind of get rid of that but this is giving me yeah just a nice kind of soft tone it's not crazy orange on me and like I said it's the shade vanilla and vanilla you would hope is probably like like the plain Jane kind of um, shade but for me it's giving me like a little bit of like a tint to it but you can still see that it matches quite well so let's go on to concealer and I'm using the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade pale so this is way too light for me I'm just gonna put it out there when I because I bought this one myself um, I bought a shade that I was like I don't want to go too deep obviously I don't want to go too light and then I end up going too light so I'm gonna <laughs> I just kind of felt like this will definitely help my under eyes brighten up slightly I kind of haven't used this in a while just because it's not my main go-to concealer at the moment it's like my KVD good apple one like I assume it is for a lot of people who have been using it um, but this one is okay um, it's not giving me like it's not really covered what I just try to go over like this bit just here um, but I don't know we'll see if it kind of does help when I add my setting powder because it, it's just still poking through and I know with like certain acne it's very difficult to um, hide like I've got one just here and I really don't think it's gonna kind of hide it that much so I'm gonna add a tiny amount and see if it does anything um no it's kind of just come off and it's fine we're just going to move on there's no point obviously me adding more and more because it will just become too cakey so when it comes to setting powder i've got one that i've been using quite a lot recently so this is the finishing powder uh, mineral based in the shade translucent so this is like obviously a shade that everyone can use because translucent is basically like no shade whatsoever um well you would hope so but obviously every time i use this it does work really nicely on my skin i've been everywhere i've been going out when i've been like doing things and wearing makeup i do use this and it does work really really nicely it gives me kind of like a bit of a mattified finish and i don't have any cream products that i'm going to use today so that's why i would just set everything down i'm looking a bit paler now i think the um <laughs> the powder has kind of added a bit of a it says translucent but i really think that it's got like a white undertone to it um which is probably not for everyone but i still feel like this is it's a really nice powder in itself so let's go on to blush and normally i would use my cream blush with this but i thought today let's mix it up a little bit and use my sweet cheeks um matte uh, blush in the shade Centrine Rose and this is just a gorgeous like it's a bit deep than um, normal for me but I really like just how this complements my skin tone really it kind of makes my cheeks pop a bit more so if you are new to my channel or even if you've obviously watched a few of my videos before whatever I like to use a lot of blush um, <laughs> for someone who has rosacea and they've had rosacea for like five six years I love to have a lot of blush I know that's a lot for some people but I do you know again add like just I have not added any other product but I thought I'd just tone it down slightly but I do love a lot of blush and I'm not afraid to add more <laughs> I'm not gonna add more but um, yeah this this sweet cheeks is really really nice there is um, like a cream blush version to it and I do really really love it it is one of my favorites but today I thought I would just go in with a matte powder and it's gorgeous. So I mentioned before I don't have a highlighter so I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, this is the Mega Glow. This is an old product. I think I might have to get rid of it soon. Um, I know NYX do have highlighters. They have like a set of like highlighters but I think it the set is maybe about £15. I'm alright for now. I don't really need it. But um, in the future, I might pick it up. So let's go on to the eyes now. So I've only ever tried one eyeshadow palette by NYX and it was a really small, um, it was like a, a selection of like random colors and it had like 
red and orange and like a grey and then a couple of other tones and I was like don't need this anymore I think I still have it but I don't use it as much it's kind of in my collection somewhere but recently like a couple of days ago um, Nick sent me this because obviously I applied to get it to use it and so I thought I'd use it in today's video and it's the ultimate queen shadow palette it's a very nice open it very nice like set of like new tones and normally I go for something a little bit more colorful but because I have this obviously it's quite a gloomy day today I apologize for the lighting that we have here or lack of lighting um, but I am going to use some of these tones and I'm very excited because I've not really tried much like I mentioned they do have a lot of eyeshadows um, but this is the first time that I'm using something a bit more bigger um, so I'm going to go in with this shade just here and we are going to just put that in the crease and we're going to build it up I don't have anything on my eyes I might have a bit of foundation or a bit of like setting powder but that's about it and yeah NYX have just become one of my favorite brands I'm not just saying that because I'm part of their app or whatever like I've mentioned before the app is free for anyone to join um, it's called like makeup by Addy um, and it is just a NYX associated app where like people join it's a community where you show off your makeup skills and at the moment because it's their one year anniversary they're doing like a competition where you can um, like if you submit a look that they have a theme for you can win a prize and then you know they have you know if you go into the next um, like set of people to do it so I think at the moment they're looking for the first 50 people that they choose like for this certain look so the first look is based around birthdays because it's their one year anniversary of you know creating the app um, and so you have to do an eye like a makeup look based around birthday so I submitted it obviously I'm probably not gonna get through it but you know I thought I would just get involved and it's a bit of fun you know like showing off your skills and it's free to join like it's it's fun basically um, next I'm gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go with this shade just here it's a bit of a deeper tone um, but yeah you do lots of different briefs like they do say as well you know oh if you want to join this like if you want sorry if you want to test this product like you can try and submit your name and you know address and stuff and potentially like a week or two later it could turn up in your in your post box and you will be able to test it out send them pictures send them your review um, and I think that's great for like a brand like NYX who have been around for ages because it just shows that they that they care about what their community is saying um, I have done like um, a workshop with them as well with a couple of other people just talking about their new um, adverts and what we think of them and what they could do in the future and things like that so it does seem like they're wanting a lot of input from their from their consumers basically uh, next I'm going to go in with this shade at the top here which I guess is a bit of a a lighter peach tone um, but yeah I really think it's a fun app like I generally do look at it almost every day because I like to see if there's any new tasks like you do get um, a notification on your phone if it's set on um, to do a new brief and you can send them pictures of past makeup that you've done and you know just showing off your skills and you just get to see other people's talent and you get to like compliment other people or you know it's just nice like I've never really been like part of a makeup community kind of thing before like I don't really I don't have a blog and I don't only you I do this and I do like my Instagram and social media and stuff but when I think it comes to certain apps like that it's just nice to be able to see other people's like talent and be influenced by them and stuff like that so I'm gonna go in, in with a shimmer now I'm gonna go in with this one just here, just to kind of finish everything off. And there we go, I'm just gonna add that here. So far, this is a really nice palette. It's very um, like buildable. Obviously, it's like a soft kind of palette when it comes to like the tones, but I kind of need something like this. I just haven't really, um, I tend to go for a lot of like colorful palettes. Like if you look at some of my past videos, I like to, just 
have a lot of colour but when it comes to like nude tones and a bit of like cool tones and stuff I try and find what I can but this is super duper nice uh, okay I'm gonna kind of go back in with one of the first shades and just um, tap in a bit more just on my outer edge because it's looking a little bit light on the top there but I don't have an eyeliner and I don't have a um, a mascara so I will just jump into the lips kind of straight away to be honest but yeah definitely check out the app if it seems like something that's up your street like it's free to join and you could potentially be testing out makeup that they send to you so I'm gonna go in with another latest new addition to my collection which is some lip liners so these are brand new lip liners as well so these are the um, line loud lip liners basically so i have I've, i was sent to i got the shade um gold getter which is this deeper one and then you've got this lighter one here which is called born to hustle so i've got a selection of lipsticks as well that i want to show you so i've got these two the xxl lip lingeries which are one of my favorite formulas ever so i kind of feel like like this one <laughs> And then this one today, so I've got the shade, um, oh my god, my eyes are so bad, um, exposed me. So I'm just going to go in with the lip liner first, and I'm just going to just, yeah, go everywhere. This is really creamy already, wow. I never tend to be like a big lip liner fan, but now that I understand that it's there to make my lips look even nicer, I start using them more, so I'm kind of obviously being a bit stupid but I need to use lip liners a little bit more okay right that's great that is so nice so creamy obviously it's one that you sharpen so it's a nice one that you can just use again and again these lipsticks I've used so much on my channel they they last all day and they are so great so that's a very nice match as well I think it's like the same shade basically and you just see straight away like the pigmentation is insane and obviously if you need to neaten anything up just go in with the lip liner and you're sorted so I want to give a quick shout out to products that I'm not going to be using so the lip glosses these are the this is juicy gloss lip glosses these are more recent ones and I have the coconut chili and then the watermelon sugar one these are so nice they smell amazing i'm not like the biggest fan of lip gloss like if you obviously see my like videos and stuff i tend to just go for a lot of like matte lipsticks but these are great to wear by themselves like i've been really obsessed with lip oils recently and i could just use these as well as a lip oil just to kind of keep my lips hydrated and then we've got the butter glosses i actually got a massive set during Christmas they kind of like sent me a set which was amazing which had like 20 of their lip glosses and I kept a couple of them and I gave some to like my family and that um, but these are super nice as well I don't tend to use them as often again because they're glosses um, but yeah these are just super duper nice and then to finish everything off I'm just using my setting spray so this is the plump finish um, this actually came out the same time as the um, primer itself and I use this like all the time so this is a really nice setting spray it does help my makeup last all day I'm actually going to work after this so this is like what 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna be no yeah 11 in the morning um, and I'm gonna be finishing like late afternoon so I'm hoping because I'm gonna be using the underground and things like that that then my face will be fine and yeah that's the full video i hope you have enjoyed it um let me know if you like nyx if you're interested in joining the app because again it's free to join why not and yeah thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there and i hope you guys are doing really well and i hope my next video will have better lighting and i'll see you in the next one bye